welcome to January workout of the month. <laughs> So this month we're going to do a hill workout session. So my plan was to do this outside on a real hill, do a few little long reps up the full hill and then do some more short reps at the end up a slightly steeper part of this hill. However, the rain has changed those plans. So we are pivoting. We're going to do the session on the treadmill. So I've set up Zwift to do one of their preloaded workouts and I'm going to follow a lat along. It's mainly, it's got like three kind of medium reps of a hill and you're going to run it into them. I don't think you do much running at the top. I think you then just kind of come back and recover at a flat level and then repeat another couple of times. Once I've finished that workout, because that's only about 30 minutes, I'm then going to do a few shorter reps up a steeper gradient. So we'll see what that is a little bit later on. What time? Swift loves a long workout. Today is eight minutes long. And it's not very really fast. So I'm currently actually running faster than I should be. But we'll get there. So one good thing about Swift, if you've never used it before, for workouts, it does. Their preloaded ones have quite a lot of prompts. So, within the first two minutes, it's already told me what the session is for, why it's good, and what I should be kind of thinking about as I'm doing it. So, that's a great kind of little hint towards what you should be working on throughout the session. Two minutes left of this warm up, so I'm just gonna take off all my layers so I don't get too hot, and then. We're gonna be up on the proper section. Ta-da! That's one thing about the treadmill being in the garage, it gets really hot quite quickly. You think, oh, it's gonna be freezing down there, but then nope, it gets hot. 30 seconds into the main set, so I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. So it's one minute up to the hill, just above a tempo pace, and then there will be three minutes up at the top of the hill at tempo speed. So my first incline section is coming up soon, that's what Swift is telling me. So it says set it to 4%. Right, we're at 4%. Now to increase that speed. Oh, let's go. 11.2 on the treadmill. This probably makes me a little bit fast. We're at 4%. Right. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> 30 seconds left. I think technically I'm a bit fast. But the treadmill is definitely set the right one. My speed just is setting the wrong thing. Alright. Almost over. So the I think I can go down soon. Maybe. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Okay, more speed. 1%. 3 minutes. Let's go. 2 minutes of recovery, so a nice gentle pace. For me, that's about 6 minutes per kilometer. And then we'll be off on the second set. I would say that hill was a little bit short. That's what I wanted. There's definitely more tempo work than I kind of want from this workout. So while you're doing it, do kind of, yeah, just gentle up the hill and then down. The workout is the hill, not your speed. It's getting those legs up that hill and building the muscle strength in your legs instead of being in the gym. I don't know about you, but I don't really want to be in the gym. All right, it's one minute into it five percent. So my treadmill's getting there. Oh, and now we're off eleven point two, and the treadmill's a little bit slower than last time. And then I just gotta keep going for a whole minute. Let's go. It says I've got this. Nine, 
nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Tempo it is, 11.9. Let's go. Three minutes. I've got this tempo. Let's get this workout done. Recovery time. Two minutes at this pace. I only managed one start out of possible two for that one, just like the first one. But I find short intervals on Zwift quite hard to get the right pace, especially when your treadmill is slightly out. So right now I'm running 9.2 kilometers per hour, but Zwift says I'm getting 9.8. So just go to do what it says. If it's wrong, it's wrong. And if I'm feeling like it's way too fast, then I'll turn it down a bit. Like I did for that last tempo, I went down a few. So I was within one constant crowd, as we get saying. Right, another 30 seconds and one final hill wrap before the cool down, and then I'll do a few hill sprints. We're at 5% again in one minute, so let's go. Turn that speed up. 11.2 for one minute. Let's go. Final tempo section. Three minutes. 11.9. Just gotta get through it. Right, the cool down is almost over. So I've got 30 seconds left. And then I'm gonna do two 20 second sprints up a 4% gradient. And then a little recover before I go again. And then that'll be me done today. Right, so there you are. You've just seen me do my hill workout for months. So now I'm challenging you to do your own. So whether you want to just choose a hill that's local to you and try and run all the way up, or if you want to try a more structured workout like I did, where you run up for a set amount of time or minutes and then back down and repeat that a few times, it is completely up to you. The best thing that you can do is just get out there and give it a go. Let me know in the comments below what you're going to be tackling this month as your workout. I'm going to be alternating between this workout and just doing a hilly 10k, I think, every other week. So fingers crossed, I'm going to get a little bit more elevation for the month of January and hit this year nice and strong in terms of getting up the hills. I wish you good luck with all your running, whether you're training for a race or just running for yourself. I hope you have the best time out there.